Welcome. It's a great day to be a miner. Or is it? Let's talk about the ETH merge. But first, let's spin that intro. All right, welcome. So here we are. That proverbial clock is tick, tick, ticking away. Ethereum is on its way out. Currently, as of the time of recording, we have 10 hours and 41 minutes left on this. So what's next? What after ETH? What's going to happen? Well, obviously, we have to find something new to mine. What are we going to mine? What are we all going to flock to? What am I going to flock to? So I have in my arsenal, I have 72 graphics cards running. I have 20 that are AMD 6000 series, and the rest are all NVIDIA. I have 14 of the 20 supers, and then the rest are all 30 series, 3060s, 3060 Ti, 3070s, 3080s, and nothing above that. So that is what's in my farm. 72 total GPUs. If it's all on Ethereum, I have 3.75-ish giga hash on Ethereum, and pretty much all of it is running on Ethereum and has been for quite a while because I get that Ethereum in, I use it to pay for expenses, to cover some cost, to in reinvest into new hardware and now that that clock is running down so what is my plan my plan is to move some of it on to ergo a little bit on to ethereum classic and the rest i am going to move on to flux i've been a big believer in the project from the boys at zell the boys at flux now for a long time, I'd been in there since the beginning. I actually liquidated a lot of the Zell right before the boom and cost myself a whole lot of profits. Um, but I believe in the project. It's a strong project. It's going to keep going. Ergo has a good developer background. It has a good plan in place. I love that it uses less power and it's more efficient. Um, but it, it's not wildly it's not got that liquidity yet. It's not well known. It's not well top up onto the charts yet. It's not on a lot of the exchanges. Uh, not a lot of wallets can use it yet. So, but I believe in it. I believe it's gonna grow. The other one is Ethereum Classic. Now, Ethereum Classic has been a long, around for a long time and back in the day, I had mined it and I remember it got hit with 51% attacks a couple times. It was not a strong project back then. Now, from all accounts, it's a much stronger project, um, but I have a feeling a ton of the hash rate that's on Ethereum is going to easily migrate over on to Ethereum Classic. A ton of the ASICs are going to move over, so it's going to get crushed. It's going to get flooded with hash rate, which could essentially bring it, the viability, the rewards on it are going to go way down real quick. Um, so unless the price on it also moves in the opposite direction, we're going to lose a lot of profits moving in that direction. So let's take a look at what, what the mine says we should be mining right now. And for this, I selected every algorithm. Well, I went to what to mine, I select the GPU tab, I selected every algorithm available, and then I'm just going to select a couple of the key GPUs and see what kind of profitability each GPU would give us right now at this date and time. So I just selected a single 3070. It's one of the most common um, mid mid to high range cards currently out there. So let's do one of those and it populates what they say their efficiency and their expected hash rate are, which the, the wattage is a little high on this 130. You know, you could easily do 115. Um, and more like 62 mega hash for 115 watt, but we're gonna go with what their stock numbers are And we're just gonna go scroll down and then we're gonna do a calculate and we're gonna see what they're telling us We should be mining other than ethereum. So Obviously ethereum's top in the charts a single 3070 would be making us a dollar 3070 before electric after electric is 103 and that's based on a 10 cent electric cost i believe let me see that is based on an 11 cent electric cost which is slightly lower than i'm paying now but just under so pretty decent for a single 3070 but that'll be with ethereum let's drop it off of ethereum off of ethereum the next best it's telling me is vert hash and 
Bitcoin Gold, which, man, that's a blast from the past. I used to mine that way back in the day, too. So Vert Hash at 65 cents profit, Bitcoin Gold at 56 cent profit, Eternity 55 cent, Cuckoo Cycle off this is off Nice Hash, Nice Hash, Auto Lycos, Ergo, which is the real Auto Lycos, is 49 cents profit per day off of a 3070. So you're talking less than half, less than half of the current profits of Ethereum if I switched right now. And that's before this mass hash rate flooding is going to happen. That hash rate that's currently on Ethereum is going to get diced into sections. Big chunks are going to go to uh, Flux. Big chunks going to go to Ethereum Classic. Big chunk to Ravencoin, to Ergo. And then all of the rest will absorb all these other altcoins that are top mineable coins will be absorbing some portions of the hash rate. So it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty out of the gate. But I'm a believer in mine and I'm a believer in proof of work. And I think that over time, they are going to be some of these main ones are going to rise above. There's going to be a couple. We're going to probably have a six months we're gonna have a year of mining different alts that that are just competing that are going back and forth up and down and eventually we will get a new king there will be a new king that takes that spot of ethereum and that we're all going to be mining on the network's going to grow huge there's going to be a lot of use cases for it so that's what we're looking for we're looking for projects with a strong developer team with a strong community good liquidity and a lot of bandwidth that's what we want and and something with a lot of use cases in real world applications not just hey this is a new coin we created it's good for trading other coins because that's not going to get you anywhere that's not going to make that real world use so i'm just rambling on now the count countdown's still going uh this says at about 1 a.m eastern standard time this should actually take place but my opinion is that as we get closer to the merge you're going to have some of the hash rates going to fall off because people are going to go ahead and move the rigs over so that 1 a.m may push out to 3 a.m 4 a.m it may push out to 6 a.m but i think by tomorrow morning all the dust is going to settle ethereum is going to stop mining and we're going to have to be on something else so there's what I'm doing. I hope that you have a good plan, game plan. Make sure to tell me down below. Tell us all down below. What are your plans? What are you switching to? What are your favorite coins, your projects? We want to know this, man. We're a community. I think that about covers it. Let's go ahead and cut to that outro. <laughs> well, there you have it. ETH merge is coming. We can't stop it. It'll be here really, really soon. Make sure to let us know what you're mining, what you're thinking, what projects are going to be strong. I want to take this time to thank you. I love mining. I want you to guys to stay with us mining. Keep on grinding. If you're new to mining and you need some help, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's plenty of seasoned vets in there, always willing to help you out. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew.